Last piece of panel I have to make is this one right here. So, foil is relatively strong. Not super strong, but strong enough for this. And uh, I'm going to first use a super flexible fiberglass uh, cloth, and then I'm going to put some. I'm going to put some mat on top of it just to give it some strength because, you know, I don't know. I just want it to be as strong as it can be. Just going in Home Depot to get some fiberglass. What do you need fiberglass for? to continue working on the sign. -off. Paying twenty dollars for fiberglass when I know it's like seventy nine cents. So I was hoping I didn't have to buy any more. Pay for convenience. I'm just layering the fiberglass ahead of time here so that because uh, this fiberglass cloth is real porous and has no strength so uh, I'm just gonna soak it form it to what I need and I'll see how strong it is and then decide if if uh, decide if it's gonna get some mat or not This is the SMD Sunflash. It's what I use when I don't feel like doing the work. You know, like, it's... So essentially what I do is I just push it into the fibers. It's only foil back in the back, right? So you don't want to push too hard. But you do want to get it to conform to the shape. See here it's metal so I can push a little harder.
gonna pull it out into the sun. Now we'll determine if, when it gets nice and hard, if it needs, uh, if it needs mat. It might not. We'll see. Better get out of the sun. You just gotta wait. He comes right there. It's very dark. First layer's dry, that'll give me the shape. Now I can put the mat on it. Okay. Oh, this sun flash. It doesn't get in the light, it doesn't ever get hard, so you can put it back. I mean, it really is amazing stuff. I don't know, I think this thing was like 20 something dollars though. I don't know if that's expensive or not though, to be honest. I just have no, I don't shop anything, like I probably should, but you know. You know where I'm going, and so do they. <laughs> Of course, the sun's behind a big ass cloud. It's a cool looking picture. back I pulled the panel out now I just gotta get a little trim and I think I'm going to uh, use the drill Just getting this crap off so it so it sits you know so it sits level. Get the shape you want. Use a couple sheets if you if you want it if it needs to be stronger or thicker. Just form it to the shape you're trying to make and. I use a uh, fiberglass cloth because it's light to then the shape becomes you know more permanent then if it needs it followed up with mat which this one did so before we get too much further we're gonna snap this thing back in there and make sure the door closes now we have to throw some there's gonna be some imperfections in there just throw some putty on it and but it won't need too much. I mean, this is, it came out pretty good. 
I'm gonna go test fit it and see where else to cut. So when this is painted, it'll go bloop. It's right on there. So I can cut the so I can so I can mark the straight edge so I can know where to cut. All right, well, let's see if we have to tear it up. To the end of the green of the eraser. Here's the panel all trimmed up. Need some Bondo and a uh, little bit of sand and a little TLC. But for the most part, it's pretty much done. So it just, uh, just sits right in there. And then this. Holds it in nice and tight. And once it's done, it'll, you know, it needs to be trimmed up a little bit so that it fits perfect. But uh, see, like this sticks out a little too much. But uh, that's it. So it'll all be painted the same color as everything else. And as you can see, I'm getting super close. Super close. So the last things we'll have to do is I'm going to fiberglass over the foam here. That's that, you know, filled in the gap and make everything flush. And then uh, then sand this down one time. Maybe there's like a couple of places I want to fill a little bit, but um, we'll give it one good once over with uh, putty because... Um, you know, we'll be fiberglassing some new stuff here. So, putty, sand, paint. We gotta cut holes in this, so you can see the so you can see the amp and the processor and the batteries. But, um, but yeah, it's coming along, getting there slow but sure. Appreciate you guys watching. Stay tuned, just make a little progress on the weekends and I'm gonna have a little time here and there and it'll get done. And when it gets done, it'll be crazy. Making a grill.